Welcome back to some more World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Anyway, let's play. So, we are still busy with our quests. We still have inventory problems, which is the name of the previous video. Because it does make sense. And it does apply. Trying to get small ports, okay. Already got that finished. We also need to feed our pet. And the reason why I want to feed your pet always to green with a big smile is because they do like, I think, 20% more damage once they get that point. Again, small paw, don't need that. Okay, I did a little bit of research and uh, we're going to get rid of this pet. We're going to get a Moonstalker. So we're going to abandon. And we grab the Moonstalker. So we need to, need to check out our... Attack speed on this cat. Because I think we want a 1.2 attack speed cat. So, pet, attack speed. Where do we get the attack speed? Damage per second, 7.2. Defense, armor, spurt. Um, I don't see the attack speed. Let's just feed it once. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, so our pet, if I hover over here, it says there, uh, that's, that's my attack speed. So it says they're 1.3% or 1.3 attack speed. Um, and we'll just feed him again. So, the attack speed doesn't matter until we get to Frenzy, which is like very late in the game. The problem is, though, like I said before, like even though our pet growls, uh, we just can't get aggro off our pet, uh, the boar. When there's not growling involved, we just can't get aggro off. Um, so obviously this pet can't use charge. We can't get the, the, the stamina stuff later. I think the only thing we're still farming at the moment is going to be the the cats. We still have to get four meats from them. So we can run a little bit closer, go down there. But yeah, we have a pretty big issue when it comes to inventory space. That may should be worth something, especially for for warriors. Plus two strength, plus two stamina. Requires level eight. It's a pretty big mace, in my opinion. But yeah, so we might as well just start with cats. It's just like I, I saw this problem arise the whole time. Like my my boar is just not having aggro. Um. And I'd rather have a weaker pet, right? That can keep aggro, because it's easier to keep your pet alive than to keep yourself alive. And I think it all comes down to the DPS numbers later down the line. But it's also, um, we're going to get the fastest attacking pet later. Uh, so that we can actually have the frenzy buff at all times up. I don't have to look around actually. It would show up if there's a cat close.
But yeah, we have to level up this pet. But you can also see this pet doesn't have bite or claw. So we'll have to train that for our pet. And we are close to a place that we can actually learn claw from, so... Cats in itself is pretty decent, but only once you get bite and claw. I know I do know that some boars have bite. Mine didn't, I think. It only had It only had charge. So we had one of the weaker boars for sure. Come on, bro, where's these cats at? Goodness. We need to get four more meats. Oh, that one's dead. We can't skin it. There's another one. So our cat right now is level 15, which is pretty good. So every time you pet crits, uh, frenzy proc will happen, and that will give you and your pet 10% attack speed um, for 5 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So like, once you get the first crit, let's just see here, 20% chance to gain 30% attack speed for 8 seconds. Um, I think it's only when they crit, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to learn Bite and Claw, put this guy in the, in the stable while we do that. Like, I'm pretty sure we can get Claw from these dudes over here. I know in Westfall we can get a rank 3 Claw. Um, and you can learn that to your cat. Cats, cats can learn Bite and Claw, so they will be low on their energy the whole time. But right now, this cat has nothing. It only has taunt. But it can also learn prowl later. Prowl is just invis, by the way. If you were wondering. And I, I don't know if there's any benefit to Prowl. All I know is your pet walks 50% slower. So I don't think this pet will gain any experience right now. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. I feel like we should just go to our person to sell stuff. 
hand in some quests, I'll... And then we'll continue on with this quest. Then I'll do some a little bit of research into Claw. We don't need that. Bro, I am starving, goodness. We also have mail from the auction house, so that's going to be great. General goods. Ah, yes. There we go. Good luck, friend. I am honored. Though it is surely a figment of my imagination. I feel as though I can almost feel the taint of foul, highborn magic upon them. I will have these destroyed, so that their long, dormant evil might never be released again. We've learned that a source of furball corruption is from the satyr. They hold sway via talismans that they channel magic through. If the furbog have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the satyr corruptor and take that talisman. Fill this bowl at our moon well and take samples of the Furbog's food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Any Furbogs who eat will be cleansed just long enough to lure out the Satyr Corruptor. Who then you must slay. Till next we meet. So I think the cats also eat fish, their diet. Hi there, I'm Gubba Blump. I love crab. Crabs are the fruit of the sea. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it and broil it. They're pan fried, deep fried and stir fried. There's crab salad, crab soup, crab stew, pepper crab, lemon crab, whipper root crab and iron forge surprise crab. That's, that's about it. I'm here fishing right now, so I can't get any fine crab chunks. You can pick them out of reef crawlers and encrusted tide crawlers. You can make a lot with it. You can bake it. Barbecue it, boil it. I love fishing. The Blump family is known for fishing. My name is Gubba Blump. I fish. There's a kind of fish I like to catch around these parts called Darkshore Grouper. I used to go out on a boat to fish for Grouper, but no boats have been going out since them mean old Murlocs moved in. I bet they've been eating up all the Grouper too. Say, you want to help me catch Darkshore Grouper? I'd give you a bona fide Blump family fishing pole if you did. It's a real good pole to catch fish with. Another. Okay, so I think quickly, let me just do research about this. Let's just hand in a few quests before we go into the dialogue. Uh, there's a few more we can hand in up here. Because Claw will up our damage quite a lot and bite as well. And there is a stable master here. I know where she is. There we go. So we can uh, purchase another one. So now our pet is safe and secure inside that area right there. So let me just quickly do research of... Uh, claw and bite. Okay, so this pet right here is going to teach us claw 2. This is the level 9 to 10. You can get claw 3 also in Duratar from a bear. That's like level 18. So we can just tame this and use it for now. Once we learn, we're going to just fight our way up. We're going to get to that bear.
I don't know why I don't have a pet bar. I don't think your pet has to get experience. I don't know, dude. So far, unlucky. We'll just uh, abandon. Right? Because we need to run pretty far down to get a level 19. Let me just double check. Dark Shore, bear 18 to, to 19. Let me just click on this. Uh, okay, we're running the wrong way. Oh, okay. So it's showing roughly where my mouse is now. Roughly here. It's going to be bears. Like, I'm just trying to think, like, we shouldn't... ...need to gain experience... ...in order for this to work. But if you can train Claw 3, you might as well just train Claw 3, right? Instead of Claw 2. And then we'll check with the closest places where we can get bite, because then our cat will be extremely useful. It will keep aggro regardless if it taunts or not. It should do more damage than we can. And at that point, it's just going to be good. Okay, we can actually play the dialogue now. Another discovery for us to research. Well done, adventurer. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. Ah, I believe you discovered one that was originally being examined by the Explorers League. They have a presence here in Darkshore, and they had mentioned that they were studying one of the beached creatures until they were chased out by the Murlocs. You appear to have succeeded where we both have not. Please, accept this honorarium on behalf of the Temple of the Moon. Thank you, adventurer. Perhaps it would have been better if I had done it myself. But even after these thousands of years, I couldn't bear to raise my hand against my beloved. Please, I would be alone with my grief. So the crystal exists, adventurer? Fascinating. Anyway, your task has been well executed. Good work. What exactly is this crystal? 
This is but a single question in a sea of questions. Another question that comes to mind is why the Moonkin would be drawn to this object. Is the crystal benign in nature or does it hold a more sinister purpose? I have many more questions, but we're going to need to examine that crystal closely to get some answers. Use this empty vial and fill up on some Moonwell water here in Aberdeen. Such potent magic should provide a clue as to the composition of the crystal. To do that, you'll pour the liquid over the crystal. It should take care of the rest. While I don't anticipate anything bad happening to you, I still want you to be careful. Above us, to the east, is Fellwood. If that crystal is tied to that place as I suspect it is, then it could prove to be very dangerous. You have done Oberdeen a great service, adventurer, but your task is not yet complete. Return to me once you have rested, and adventurer, prepare your mind and soul for more bloodshed. The survival of our people and lands comes at unfortunate costs, adventurer. You have spilled the blood of nature's servants. Many sick animals you have felled. The people of Oberdeen are indebted to you, for the forest's pain is eased. Even if only for a moment, I have one final task for you, but be warned. You will have to kill again. It is my hope that this will be the last time I call upon you, adventurer. In a cave to the northeast near Bashalaran resides the Den Mother. Slay her. Wash the blood from your garments, adventurer. And do not mourn what you had to do. Instead, give thanks. You have lessened the threat to our people here in Oberdeen. Even if Darkshore is still in jeopardy from the effects of Fell Moss. Adventurer, your skills have already helped me in my endeavor. Could I impose on you again to help Grimclaw and his master Volcor? In addition, I can craft you a magical cloak that will allow you to walk unhindered by Darkshore's creatures while you look for him. To create the cloak, I'll need five fine Moonstalker pelts from a Moonstalker sire or matriarch to have enough material. The cats can be found near Wild Bend River to the south, or even farther south near Ashenvale.
Man, I'm talking, but I'm muted. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm like, okay, we we have we have uh, level two now. Uh, we have um, claw two now, uh, but we need to get bli a bite two also. So just give me a second. Let me just see where I can get it. Okay, we get it only at Lockmodan, uh, which is a place we've been to already. But Elune Adore. Good luck, friend. So with our cat, we can actually learn Claw 2 now. When we have 4 TP. Which we don't. So we're gonna get on here, but we could actually fly there, by the way. <laughs> the game assumes we haven't been there yet. But we should make the boat. And there's also a lot of stuff we can actually put in the auction house. This thing right here, by uh, I'm equipped. The chest piece, by I'm equipped. Small eggs we can actually make food with. We can make some crab cakes. So yeah, in a while we're gonna be having Claw 2 on our pet. I just want to get to a point where I don't have to growl even. Because growl takes uh, 15 focus. If we get to a point where our pet just does way more damage than we do, then we don't even need growl. We can just have it off all, uh, all the time. Um, and to do that, we'll have to get Bite and, and Claw pretty high level. So that our, our pet will just do... The damage needed, I would say. And we also have this 200 mace that we can sell in the auction house. So that's pretty cool. We have quite a few stuff we could sell. So going to the main city right now is not a big deal. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Train your cause, uh, class spells. That is needed for us as well. Uh, we have Raptor Strike 3. We have our first Fire Trap, which I think is AoE damage. Um, I could be wrong. Um, nothing else is useful, I would say. I mean, one goose is, but like, it's not needed, I would say. I feel like it's a conspiracy theory the whole time. What is the best pet to level up with? Because in my in my mind, I keep telling myself boar is the way to go. But the boar is the boar doesn't have enough DPS. The boar just flat out just doesn't have the DPS, unfortunately. So the boar cannot keep aggro. If something is immune to, uh, to taunt, then yeah, you're kind of screwed. It's game over, man. Found the trainers up here. Stable master. I am on. Welcome to the Cenarian Circle, adventurer. I don't know, mongoose. We could also learn that. Be careful. It's only a few things I would say we need. Um, where is the pet trainer?
Maybe it's upstairs. You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets? You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets? So unavailable. So the next one is at 18. And we are 17. We're literally at 18. Now it just says take the portal back, so let us quickly go to the auction house first and put up our stuff for sale. That will be worth. Uh, skinning, yeah, we'll do our leatherworking stuff as well. Um, so I'll catch you guys soon again. We can actually make new pants here, which is absolutely insane. So that's insane, dude. We in Darnassus, especially we craftsmen, are quite busy. Young adventurers are eager to test themselves in the wilderness and are in constant need of supplies. If you can help me fill my orders of leather goods, then perhaps I can teach you an advanced leatherworking technique. Okay, so, unfortunately, we're sitting, sitting on 99 skill now. We couldn't reach at 100. But, you know, next time, next time, dude. Next time. We'll be fine. What level is our pet? 15. Two levels lower. I wonder why my pet is stuck. Want to sell this one handed dagger. Plus 10 agility, plus 10 uh, stamina. Requires level 58. Wow. I wonder how much people would ask for stuff like that. Doesn't even look good. <laughs> Looks like a regular level 10 dagger. That thing must be quite a penny, that's for sure. Okay, now we're gonna just head back. We also need to check out the... the mailbox again. Honestly, can't wait for level 20. Uh, also, we should be the correct level now to do dead mines. Let's fly. In our link to the mainland, we have hippogriffs constantly flying between Ratheran village and Darkshore. Yeah, level 17 to 26. Let's probably do it at like level 18, maybe 20. Maybe in the next video, potentially. It is something that that we have to do. It just makes your run so much easier. I know there's a back in there that gives agility. I think it's boss 2 that drops it. Um And there's a dagger also, but like it would rather go for rogues, obviously, because for hunters is just stats holding. But for rogues, they use it 24-7. Since that is their weapon.
Nice. What brings you? Hello, person. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you smell that delicious aroma? It's my secret recipe, adventurer. Fresh strider stew. Delicious. Perhaps you would be interested in learning the recipe. Before I teach you the recipe, you will need to prove that you can handle the beasts. Now, I don't expect you to go out and tame one and ride it back to me. But if you can kill a few and bring back some of their succulent meat, I may be persuaded to show you the ways of Strider stew. Fantastic! Try it and tell me what you think, adventurer. Except the tower. Okay. The Tower of Nipple Twists. Hey, we got another sail, dude. We got mail again. From the AH. Hail, young person. I am Alyssa Starbreeze, and it is my charge to protect Oberdeen from harm. To this end, I sent Balthuel Shadowstrike to observe the strange happenings around the Tower of Alpha Lax to the northeast. It is past time that he should have returned. I worry that he has encountered some unforeseen danger in the forest. I would be most appreciative if you would find him and see that he is doing well. Slap it like it's hot. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, whatever, go. I should have maybe waited until higher level uh, to tame a cat. Because, like, it only makes sense to have a cat at frenzy level, right? 20% chance to gain attack speed. That's with every auto attack. After dealing a critical strike. So you need to make it 100% so that it will be every crit. And then you take the attack speed because the more you attack, the higher chance you have to crit. It might be lower numbers, but... Alrighty, we have a hand in quest over here. I assume it's the red crystal. So we had two quests, right? One one is to explore it, and the next one is to touch it. You need to t need to touch it.
I like to touch it, touch it. You like to touch it. Okay, off to the next quest. We still need one food from the tigers. And the one food might be running next to me. pretty far away. Not good enough. Coming back here. Okay. I am freed, adventurer. I can now see with my own eyes the changes that have come to our world. Only bits and pieces have I known. To think that when I last walked freely, the well still stood and the highborn held court with Ajara, our beloved queen. I sense that my jailer, my former master, Athricus, still lives. Already my feelings of hopelessness will give way to thoughts of vengeance. Finally, Mabri. Level 17 rogue. Fine crab chunks. Claw, bite, dash, like it has everything until you tame it, and then it has nothing.
Level 18, baby. Uh, the pet wants to eat again. What the heck? This thing is eating me out of the room, dude. Soon we'll have to sleep on the street. But we'll have a fed kitty at least, you know what I'm saying? Elissa sent you. Then it is good tidings you bring. I have troubling news to report to her and had no means with which to deliver it. A group of warlocks has taken up residence around and inside the tower. I would have returned to Aldergeen to report to Elissa earlier, but I was afraid that I might miss something while I was away. Delgrand suspected such a company might be gathering at the tower, but did not know why. A few scraps of parchment that the warlocks carry have found their way to my hands. But I need more to complete the puzzle. I warn you not to venture into the tower, however. The warlocks there are much more powerful. What a strange debuff. You may heal them. Get much experience for the pet after each kill. points of thin okay, we got clone out it I remember I hated this area so much because to get your tank, um, aug what do we call it? Augment, I guess. To get your tank skill as a warlock, you'll have to climb this tower. It was one of the hardest things to do because the enemy is outside of level 17. 
But the enemy is in size level 27. So it was almost impossible to climb the tower. You had to do like a death skip. Oh, we're done. You have to do a death skip, resurrect all the way at the top, die again, and then you can stand exactly on top of like one of the... Uh, one of the bookcases. And you just have to keep the ranger out of your way, and then you can actually grab the item. Many thanks, adventurer. This should shed some light on this warlock's gathering. Hmm. The Cult of the Dark Strand. I've never heard of this group before. Having no knowledge of their history, it is all but impossible to say what their plan is. There is no more time to delay. Warning must be delivered to Delgrin immediately. My master, Delgrin the Purifier, is a paladin who has graciously offered his assistance in defending our forests from the forces of the demons and undead. He has taught me much about the holy light and the art of battle. Delgrin must know of the cult's operations immediately. You will find him far south of here at Maestra's post in Ashenvale Forest. Be swift. I fear the Darkstrand's threat grows with each passing hour. No enemies? It's kind of weird. Dude, I think this is the crabs that gives claw three. Uh, let me just double check here. Uh, that's bite claw three. Dark shore ghost saber. Dark shore den mother. No. It's not them. Our cat just can't take aggro. It's three levels below us though, but... Dude, this hurts. Oh my god, bro. One HP on my pet. Wow, these crabs, they hurt. It's because our pet is so low level, I think. And it's not gaining like fast XP, it's kind of annoying.
Level 19. It's a four level difference between the two pets. Wait until full mana. Oh, sorry, sorry, full HP on, on the pet. Not that this really helps. Another one. Can you level up, pet? Goodness. You're so close. Just do it. Thank you, bad goodness. We're not doing these. Soul bound. May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. It is interesting that the Murlocs were not present at this site. We will keep this in mind as we study this creature's remains. Thank you for your effort, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon would like for me to give you this as compensation for your time. These fine crab chunks are what I need. Thanks, adventurer. I found this while I was fishing a while ago, and I have no use for it. Maybe you can do something with it. It sure don't make any good crab dishes. I told you all about crabs, right? Well, it would seem that even though we know more about this crystal, more unanswered questions are the result. I'll take the information you've uncovered to the Council here in Aberdeen. Perhaps they'll know a course of action to follow on this crystal. Well, that is if there is one to be taken, for now the threat remains far enough to our east to be out of harm's way. As for you, please have this. Consider it a reward for a job well done, adventurer. We've got a cooking recipe. Looks like we're done with this area, dude. 
No. The boat just left. Okay, so we can buy some more ammo. Can I assist you? Alone light your path. Goddess, watch over you. Goodness, the sneeze of doom. Not gonna let me make this cake, are you? How dare you not make me, let me, make me. Eh. Except there's quite a few people actually living in the guild now, for some reason. But we do have an absolute insanely big guild, for some reason. Alright. Okay, let's wait for this, uh, let's wait for this boat. Okay, the guild is going a little bit crazy now, because, uh, apparently world buffs is happening now. I honestly don't even know. I, I don't know if I, like, want the world buff. Like, I don't think it's needed. The time it will take you to get there, then someone wants to get paid, then... Nah, it's okay, dude. Time to get back, then it's only a two-hour buff. And during that two hours, you would have progressed further by not going to the buff in the first place, uh, in my opinion. Like, unless you're raiding and the two hours is mandatory, you know? But you're gonna spend that two hours and that 5% damage increase could make a difference. But at the end of the day, I just honestly think it's for leveling. Do not stray too far away from the path. Because I think it's at the end of the day not worth Didn't I feed my pet? No, what? Oh yeah, I wanted to make the food, but I couldn't.
feel free to browse. Go in peace. Hello. Hello, baby. <coughs> He's also not selling potions. What do you want me to buy now? Buy a medium quiver. Hello. Be careful. Looking for something specific? Go with honor, friend. Buy as many health potions as it gives. I buy and trade. They're not giving. For the alliance. Fly to Lokmodan. So we can actually go turn uh, train bite now. Where would you like to fly to? So we can train Bite now. Let me just see here. So Bite level 3. Lakmodan is a spider that's level 19. Shanda the spider. Shanda the spider. Oh, it's really far on the right. Chanda the spider. Uh, it also is level 19. So we can't get it yet. Level 18 is what we are. Uh, we can get... Oh! There's a... a woodlocker. Woodlocker is another spider in Lakmadan. Okay, it's in the top right corner. So, Lakmadan, in the top right corner, you hear where my mouse is? That is where the spider is. And you can train Bite level 3. Like I said, my whole goal right now is to get as much damage on the pit so that we can... we, we don't have to... Um, taunt anymore. Because I think it's possible to do... Oh, uh, we have one un unspent talent. I think it's possible to do once you have... You know, five in this. Increasing your pet damage by... 4%. 4 times 5 is 20. So you'll increase your pet damage by 20%. And then we'll have 3% crit. But the in increased movement speed is worth, okay. Because I can see my pet is... The, the, the movement speed of my pet is not that great. Now the question is, is it better to just go get the bite now? I think it is. 
In all honesty, I think it is. What's on your mind? See you soon. So we're gonna go to that spider in the top right corner. It's a level 18 spider. Uh, we're gonna train it. Or tame it. I, I honestly hope we could just swim there. You see, Boris has bite also. Level 20 stuff in the water. Level 13. Oh shit. I'm in unknown territory now. I have no clue. Level 13. Like, I've never been here before, I think. Level 13. These are all pretty high level stuff here, 19, 20, which means we'll pull aggro from far. There's the spider, wood lurker, yeah, that's the one, level 18. The diet is meat. You see, that's fish. Let's just feed them. Level 18 spider. Training points is minus 7. So many people just want to get the world buff.
Yeah, we should be doing really good damage now. Um, okay, so... I'm just gonna head back to do our quests. We're gonna use this uh, pet for now. There's a lot of dead stuff here. Okay, so now we're gonna just use this pet uh, until we actually get our our bite. Should be bite uh, level three. And if you really want to, we could go back to a boar, but we'll just keep the cat. I think it's a good looking cat as well. Until we get the fastest attacking cat. Spider is a pretty cool pet though, it's just, this pet should be able to have poison, but again, poison is not trained, so it's kind of annoying to be honest. Okay, I've got to grab a quest here. The Iron Band. Prospector Iron Band is heading an excavation of ancient ruins east of the lake. His progress has been slow lately, especially considering all the supplies we've sent him. Iron Band's a stout, honest dwarf who values results, which has me worried that forces are at work against him. Go to Iron Band's excavation and speak with Magmar Felhew. He manages the details of the site and will know why there's a slowdown. To get to the excavation site, go around the southern tip of the lake, then head east. Uh. Now we're going there, but it's okay. We had to use the stable anyway for the cat. That is the fastest attacking cat until you get another cat. I can't remember the name. T uh, Sharp Tooth or something like that. Something Tooth. And I don't know what level that cat is at, but that will be our cat that we're going to use. We we'll probably will play Beast Mastery like the whole game, by the way. Marksmanship does more DPS, but I feel like it's rotation and stats dependent. Where just if you just have a good cat with good abilities, then you should be fine. How are ya? Six strength mace, dude. Isn't that like worth quite a lot? Hi. It's not soulbound, is it? 
Yeah, it's not soulbound, dude. It's a plus six strength, two hand and maze. 73 silver to buy. I think we can sell it for one gold. That I was stupid, I shouldn't have bought that. That was really expensive. Thank the stars someone is concerned about the well-being of the dam. First the destruction of the Thandol span, and then the pillaging of Don Modder. I have no doubt that the dam will be the target of the next Dark Iron threat. Most of the security detail here was reassigned to the Alliance front, including my top inspector. That's why I need you, adventurer. I spotted some Dark Iron sappers milling about the eastern ramp of the dam. Investigate the area and bring back a clue. There we go. All the officers in the guild get a warlock that's level 20. Wow. It's a uh, kind of sad, isn't it? Thing is, if people if people are in the guild, they get summoned there once, they get the flight point, and guess what? Then it's their job to get there next time. This is an alarming discovery, to say the least. If my suspicions are correct, this is some type of explosive powder. This must be analyzed by an explosives expert, so we know just what we're dealing with here. Ashland Stone's Merc was assigned to the regiment guarding Dunmodor and the Thandol Span. I need you to make a grave and perilous journey, adventurer. Travel through the Algas Gate, follow the road through the wetlands, and seek out Stonesmirk in Dunmoda. Heed my advice. Stick to the roads and stop for nothing. The Southhound Hunter. Crocolisk. They can also give you bite, by the way. But I think they only give you level 2 bite. That spider is up there and the spider is down here. It's the only two that can give you uh, bite level 3. Wow. These are pretty big bearers, bro. Level 17. It's kind of scary running through here. There is a bear feared. starting to get medium leather. I was wondering when that's gonna happen.
Kill all the mountain boars. Dude, bears can also have bite and claw. Okay, we're finally here. Match wits with Daryl the Bold, huh? I should think not. Of course, you're more than welcome to try. Here's a challenge that should prove to be above your abilities, so don't feel too bad if you can't face up to it. A flock of buzzards has nested here in Loch Modan. Why don't you try to take down some of the beasts? Tell you what, if you meet my challenge in 15 minutes, I'll give you my bow or gun. It seems you haven't much to lose, anyways. Many a hunter is attracted to Loch Modan to hunt our famous crocs. There are always merchants who seek out crocolisk skins for clothing items or armor, and there are also some who enjoy the taste of their meat. We do some trade in this, but not a huge amount, as the crocolisks are ferocious and have entrenched themselves on the islands in the loch. But don't let me dissuade you. It's quite an experience, wrestling with the jaws of the beasts. Why this one time? Dude, can we make this fall? I think so. Uh, you must complete this quest and return to within 15 minutes. If you fail, you can do the quest again. doing way too much DPS for this to be a problem. We have 12 minutes left. <laughs> This is the last one we need to kill. So 
Sorry, mage. I think I killed everything. Sandalal spurt happening in thirty or in forty seconds. I wish I knew what the buff is. But I I can tell you guys now, it's the time you go like just imagine I said yes I want to get summoned. How long would I have stood there? Now I don't have any hearthstone, right? My hearthstone's on cooldown. So I would have had to fly from Strangle from Vale. What success? Take it from me, Adventurer Rama. You don't let it get to your head. I mean, any unshaven boy with a bow could have killed such small specimens. And I hope you don't enjoy killing the buzzard so much, yes? We wouldn't want them to become extinct. Well, uh... Never let it be said that Daryl the Bold would not hold to his word. Adventurer Wrath, is it? I can tell you're bursting with pride over completing the first test, HM. As I told you before, it's no large feat. You should try your hand at boar hunting. Trust me, this is no Cold Ridge Valley boar hunt, so you'd best have a care with them. I'll give you just 12 minutes this time. Don't feel bad if you fail. I'd give you the shirt off my back if you succeeded. Have I ever related to you the story of how I received my famous scar? No, it was two years ago. So now I don't have, just as an example, I don't have the, like a hearthstone. So for me to get back to where the guide is telling me to go, can take me like roughly a half an hour, depending on how many ferries I have to get and trains and fly points. And now I have a two hour buff. I have a half, like an hour and a half left to continue on from where I ended off. And the problem is though that it's just, I, if I never went there in the first place, I would have been pretty much at the exact same point with or without the buff, if that makes sense. Because let's say every fight you do is 5% faster. I think we trained it. Let's say every fight you do is 5% faster. Let's say you get like a 2% increased movement speed or something. Or 10% even. Like you'll end up roughly in the same spot, whether you got the buff or didn't, right? Unless you're there only at the time, like exactly on point for the buff, like you were the last person to get summoned. And you have Hearthstone close to where you're supposed to be. We have a new hope now. You know, another pet that could work maybe is a green spider because it has a web. Okay, the webs is not as good as charge for sure. still be pretty good to keep the enemy away from you
train. Claw rank two. Bite rank three. So yeah, we, we did train it now. I don't know if you need every rank, by the way. For it to be strong. I assume you don't. Because like it will only be like rank two, tame, rank three, bite. It will not be rank one, two, and three. Bite does a lot more damage than Claw. But it takes 35 focus. So I don't know what one what's better, Claw or Bite. Claw takes 25 focus. Does a lot less damage. And if Bite does more damage, then you might as well play a, bo a boar. But yet again, if you don't growl and you have claw and bite, mm, I think that must be the better, better option. You seem a bit worse for wear. No doubt the boars gave you some trouble, HM. No worries. I will be discreet about your struggle. I can imagine how hard it must be for you without the accusations of wagging tongues. Oh, you managed to kill the boars. Well, that is... That is to say, I'm not surprised. Any child could have bet what bet. So we're still missing two green items, then we're full, fully green. That would be great. And then we can actually craft shoulders and stuff like that also soon. Um, with leather working. So now we gotta kill Crocolisk. We're gonna do something here. I need to level up my cat, dude. Is this challenge number three? Don't know why I'm running after a guy that's also doing this quest. See, by the time my pet reaches the enemy that we want to kill, 
The enemy is already too close and I can't shoot anymore. That's why charge is so good. That's what I'm saying, like, maybe the spider web net is also good. And then you have poison and bite. Because if I'm not mistaken, you can actually get five stacks of poison on the enemy. Which contributes to a... Dude, it's a crazy amount of DPS. But yeah, so like when you're fighting low level, no enemy survives that long, so you can't really get the full benefit of poison. Such a long path we're running. It's so far. That is the best place, but there are people there. Are you kidding me again? Level 16. Okay, he's on the second quest.
We're not creating uh, triple digits yet. But we're getting there. Dude, just the skinning on this place alone. So much leather, dude. You also need to do our quest. <laughs> All we're doing right now is skinning the whole time. I honestly can't believe we're still getting scrap leather. So again, the enemy is too close with charge, that would never happen. It's one of the two done.
Why? Stop with the full inventory, my bri. You received hands. Plus four spurt gloves. Pretty good for priests. Mild spices. What meat are we getting from these guys? Crocolous meat. I wonder if we can actually make something from it. I'm sure you can, but like, I wonder if I can specifically. Why is it so scarce to get their skin? You're telling me all these crocodiles is not uh, skinless, dude. I have skinning as well. Like, getting their skin should not be this difficult. That took way longer than it should have. Oh fuck, what is that? Why is there a patrol here? There are all elites. Come here, my pet. 
I can't touch you. You're faster. Do you really want to tank forever? I don't know. Like, is Paladins not good tanks? I'm not too sure. I always played Horde. And uh, classic Horde, you know. Don't have Paladins. Shamans couldn't tank and they were pretty decent healers. Especially if you did your quest for your totems. But guys, we're gonna actually end this episode over here. I honestly hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.